So boys, here we are, Pukekohe. Last time ever, We've seen a bit of action around this place. It sure has, Stephen, between uh, the three of us. Mm. Maybe this guy here, maybe had a bit of a clearer track than we did uh, <coughs> for quite a few years. I don't, but, remember, um, I don't remember racing anyone. Well, you wouldn't do, you just no. cleared out. It was, you know, I think, up to Stephen I don't know what was so hard about it all. Did you see a, there must have been four or five years, you didn't even see someone's rear bumper. No, I did, but I was lapping them. <laughs> right, it was quite yes. annoying, actually. <laughs> Getting in your way. Well, the real guys down the back. Right. And, we were... and, and everyone on these grandstands would have been appreciative of that. And, and, and we were bouncing from one side of the track to the other, year <laughs> after year. So I'm great, sorry. I mean, great memories of Pukekohe and, you know, for all of us, right? So our Christmas holidays were spent coming and watching Dad in the sports sedan. The, f the first year I remember, he was actually in the Winfield Falcon sports sedan, so it must have been <laughs> 78, 79, and then... Uh, he was the little tacker. Little tacker, yeah. yeah. So they were, they were good days. Good yeah, days. but that's, I mean, I don't have that. You guys have got this uh, generation thing, you know? Mm -hmm. that, that goes a long, long way back, um, which is amazing, and the stories that you guys have got from that, from, you know, your dads as well, but... I mean, people think that I used to, I grew up here and I was like lived here and I was like rode around the track on my push bike every day. The first time I ever came here was my first ever race in a Formula Ford. Yep. In 1990. Yeah, something like that, 91 or something. Yep. So, um, but it's, it, the significance of it is, is like, look at this. Mm. Mm. These, these benches, you know, um, and the generations of fans that have sat on it is, you know, the, the crowds up here, on these days are just really I think we probably have taken it for granted. I think the atmosphere here at this part of the circuit particularly when you were winning in that period of 2001 to 2005 was some of the best atmosphere Amazing. at a V8 supercar event that we that we had and just the the engagement of everyone, yeah. you know, it was but, really good. You know, I mean, that, that was the peak, but prior to that, before you guys yeah, were yeah. doing here, you know, we put... B &H. 20, yeah, it'd be 20, 25,000 yeah. people yep. packed this place out to come and watch the Grand Prix, and, yep. and um, you know, it was, it, it was, it's always had a great following, let alone going back to the early days. Yeah, in the 60s and yeah. 70s, you know, yeah. You this, this, this place was packed, so huge amount of history here for, well, for all of us. Yep. But, um, but I was going to say, we, we used to, from school, because I did grow up in Auckland, and from school, I'd leave school, my brother and I, he was 14, I was 16, would jump in mum's car, come out here, and the mm. days he could just was jump. There a, was there a driver's license in Well, there was just, <laughs> just, 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 just. Wouldn't I be breaking the law, Paul? No, no, I wasn't breaking, I had okay. a license okay, here. Good. If I should have had a license was another question. Another question. Yeah, but we used to come out here and spend hours and hours and hours, you know, just driving around around the track. Really? Yeah, honestly, yeah. We come out and Eric, you remember Eric? Yeah, Eric, he's going to let you go out. I'd ring Eric and say, Eric, we, we want to come and do some naps. Yeah, yeah, I'll leave the key under the mat. <laughs> so literally we'd, we'd, we'd unlock, the, <laughs> unlock the, the gate, come in, and the lawnmowers would be running around everywhere, you know, but we were sort of... So, so, you know, great memories. You couldn't oh do that in Australia. Goodness gracious me. You couldn't do that here anymore. No, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, what about, too what much about, health and safety. What about supercar era? What about memories from, from supercars? When, uh, yeah. after Bathurst yeah. in 96, 12 cars came out and we and it was the last ever street race it at was. Wellington. Good memory, and we, yeah. and we came here first. We did three races. It was a, com a compact. Did you win them as well? Um, yeah. Mm. And, that's, and why, that's why I don't That's remember. why I brought it that's, up. That's, that's <laughs> and, but you were, you, were, you were a bring-in. Yeah, I was. I dubbed with Alan Jones, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah and and they were, they, I mean, and the crowd here then, because obviously the modern era of mm. supercars or Group A supercars in, in Australia, and 12 yep. came out, Larry was here yep. with Russell. Yep. Yep. Um, there was the two, the Cokes, um, Coke cars were here. Yep. Uh, the two, uh, DJR, Bowie and, and DJ, yep. me and Brock, yep. you and Alan. Mm. That's right, yeah. And, and, and the, that, for me, I remember, like, I was just like, oh my goodness. That became that created reality about how popular the sport was. Yeah, because yeah. the grant, this place was chocker, absolutely chocker. Yeah. And then you know we had that break till 2001, and 2001 we turned up here for the first ever championship round outside of Australia, mm. and and the Kiwis yeah. just that was massive, absolutely flogged. Yeah, yeah. It was. And unfortunately, yeah. they got the result they were after. They did get the result. They were <laughs> Now, I feel they may get it again this weekend. Mm, yes, it's quite a, quite a good possibility that that might happen. This 2.7 or whatever K piece of asphalt, 2.9 or whatever it is, it just resonates. Is there, is there anyone you know that doesn't like it? No, I, I, I rate this place as in my top three tracks. 
Wow. You know, just from the hairpin back to turn, yep. back to the back straight. There's nowhere else. And I haven't driven on the track with the chicane out the back, but just the amount of commitment required through the left-hander and then up over the hill, awesome. Fantastic. What a yeah, this, this course the, the, up over the hill has been yeah. by far the, I mean, it's so challenging, isn't it? Yeah. You know, you're right on the edge. Well, I, you, I, I, for all the laps I've done around, every time I come through there, if it's flat out, I'm going, Am I going to make it? Am I going to make it? It just sounds ridiculous, yeah. doesn't it? But, um, you know. Well, yeah, but in the wet, I mean, you look at all the, the races we yeah. did have here in the wet in the supercar, mm. you come mm. up over the top there. It doesn't look like, look at it sitting here now. Nah, that's it right, it looks it. almost flat. Mm. Mm. Like it doesn't, as in flat, the road's flat, but. It sure ain't, is it? It's, it's not. It's no. not. No. But, you know, you come up over the top there and there's one line and you're in the wet and you're sliding it through the, up over it, right out to the edge of the yep. track. Yep. It was just what it was done. I think it's that first left when you come and you're riding that kerb and the car goes light, the yes. bottom's out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah, it takes yeah. a lot of, um, yep. to lot keep of, your foot in there, it takes yep. a lot of nerve, doesn't it? And you've got to get the car right. You know? Absolutely. And there's, um, I'll never, I've never complained about the bumps. Whereas, it's, you know, the people complain about how bumpy it is. Like I said, man, that's, that's, that was all part of it. It's because right? you're always We're driving never... a perfect car, mate. Yeah, you, you found, know, you found a place where there were no bumps. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. there is bumps? Yeah, yeah, there is. Oh, OK. Oh, <laughs> yeah. my mistake yeah. again. So, what, anyway, <laughs> what was your best result? <laughs> I'd better yeah. stay out of this. Yeah, I think the best I was third, I think. In the, third. In the 888 car yep. yeah, around here. Yeah, I think I had a... I had a third in one of the races, but of course back then it was all combined points, so I think my best result was a fourth yeah. in 2005. But we had to fight for that, you know. That's right, yeah, people. I mean, it wasn't just you know, needed to. Not, yeah. Well, no. Yeah. Was, you know. Well, I, well um, I mean, I was always uh, seen for a very long time as, as you know, this, this bad guy in the field, but, but it was you, wasn't it, that punted my old mate Marcus off here and in like 2000. Oh, wasn't it you that like just just like got him, got rid of yeah, him? Yeah, I think out of the so. way. I think so. But then I did he, did he, drove does he door dislike something. you as much as he disliked me? Or um, he probably did on that day. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Sorry, sorry, Marcus. <laughs> he didn't say anything though. Where he did to you. It was all nice, nice stuff though. It's good. And we could, we could, the memories here just keep going and going and going. Right? Go so I while. think it's 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 sad. It's come to an end. Yeah. You know, if I think about Jim, Dad, going back years and years, he started his career here. This is really what what um, gave him his passion. So yeah, it's it's a end. end, end of an era. There's a little bit more to it. I think just over there, about 30 metres behind us, that's where Dad's dad's ashes are scattered. So it meant a lot to the to the Richards house. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. It is. Yeah. yeah. End of an era. It is. It is the end of an era. So, but um, let's. That was probably it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great place to oh. stop. Hey, you're gonna have to start racing yeah. again, right? Because to get, oh, I am. I'm to gonna, get the I'm next gonna, place I'm to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. You know, I'm gonna crack back into it.